warning signs that you need to go to your doctor. You know it's time to check in with your doctor if you're feeling absolutely dreadful or if you're due for your yearly examination. But many of the major signs of poor health tend to fly under the radar and are wrongfully chalked up as just being common with age. I'm here to tell you that this is not the case. And if you're not feeling or looking your best, an underlying health issue is probably to blame. That's why today I want to share four common yet surprising signs that it's time to see your doc. The first, skin tags rosacea, which is adult acne. Skin tags are not a normal finding of aging. Personally, when I was in my 40s, I had skin tags in my armpits and down in my groins. And I actually wasn't too worried about them because interestingly enough, the men and women that I was operating on for coronary artery disease also had these skin tags. And I was told by my dermatologist friends that, oh, that's just a normal part of aging. Can you imagine my surprise when I went on my program and began losing weight that my skin tags dried up and fell off? Seriously, it's the most wild thing I've ever seen. And I have tons of patients who follow my program, that their skin tags dry up and fall off. So what are skin tags trying to tell you? Skin tags are trying to tell you that you have an elevated insulin level, and you most likely have an elevated insulin-like growth factor, IGF-1. These are both growth hormones. And there is nothing in us that we want to grow, I assure you. So this was an outward sign that I was growing things. Now, they also correlate very well with skin tags growing inside your colon. We call them polyps. And it's very unusual for me to ever see anyone with a colon polyp who doesn't have an elevated insulin level. Women, if you have adult acne, rosacea, I can virtually guarantee you that you have an elevated insulin level. Men, if you are told you have a big prostate, or if you're getting up a few times to go to the bathroom at night, or it's getting harder to start your stream, I got news for you. Your prostate is being stimulated to grow by an elevated insulin level. And just to reiterate, the last thing you want as you get older is an elevated insulin level. Elevated insulin levels correlate with developing cancer. They strongly correlate with developing memory loss, dementia, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's, none of which you want. So these are all warning signs that at the very least, have your doctor order a fasting insulin level. It's usually paid for by insurance. If it isn't, it's about $8. And make sure your insulin level is well under 10. I prefer six and less. That's the first warning sign that you can't ignore. Next up, women in particular, persistent episodic feelings of nausea. Now, one of the biggest drivers of death in women is heart disease. It now ranks number one, it never used to be. Cancer used to be number one, but heart disease is now the number one killer of women. Problem is, women don't display the classic signs of having a heart attack, like men have been taught. Crushing chest pain, an elephant sitting on your chest, achy jaw, pain down, go, going down your left arm. As a heart surgeon who's operated on 
many women having an acute heart attack. Oftentimes, the presentation is that of an upset stomach or nausea, particularly after eating. And women attribute it to something I ate. But more likely, women will present with this nausea or upset stomach, maybe even a little shortness of breath when they're doing the chores, not the elephant sitting on the chest, not the arm pain, not the jaw pain. So if this is happening to you, it's an alert that you got to go talk to your doctor and say, I think I've got heart disease. Don't let them not work you up for heart disease. So that's number two warning sign. Next, and this is a big one, chronic low energy and fatigue. This is always almost chalked up as, oh, you're a busy mother, or it's common with age, or you're a busy executive, or you're just not getting enough sleep. What did you expect? Yes, all those things can be a factor. Uh, anyone who's raised you know, several kids, anyone who has lots of puppy dogs, will tell you that interrupting sleep is, is hard on your levels of energy. But, as I can tell you now for the last 20 years, the most common signs of autoimmune diseases, of leaky gut, are women in particular, and men secondarily, who complain about chronic fatigue, chronic low energy. And your get up and go has got up and went. This is a sign that something is really wrong, particularly in your gut. Remember, Hippocrates 2,500 years ago said all disease begins in the gut. And after 20 years of studying this, 20 years plus, I assure you that Hippocrates was right. So if you've got low energy, chronic fatigue, it's not in your head. It's in your gut. And you need to find someone who will listen to you. That's the most important. Finally, men. You come looking for a prescription for Viagra, for Cialis, for any of the other uh, male enhancement products. I can assure you that not getting it up is an incredibly scary warning sign that this same process is happening in your heart and in your brain. And this is actually one of the biggest threats to you having a heart attack or a stroke or correspondingly developing memory loss. The fact that you cannot dilate your blood vessels properly is one of the best telltale indicators that you shouldn't be seeing your doctor for a Viagra prescription. You should be seeing your doctor or someone like me to find out what's actually the cause of your erectile dysfunction because that dysfunction is happening in your heart and happening in your brain simultaneously. And it's one of the best reasons to see your doctor and not for a Viagra prescription. If you found this video helpful, I think you're gonna love this one. The rule of thumb is if it has a shell or a peel that you're going to get rid of and you can throw it out, then you should be okay to buy non-organic.